this thing is a monster this is the best backpack blower on the market right now that tube right there that 3.6 inch tube for leaf cleanups is awesome you got if you guys get this blower you won't be disappointed in spending that money on this blower Just finished up here, started at our shortest point. All you do is follow that line in stripes of light and dark. Started out with our verts, ended up doing or finishing off with our diagonals to get our diamond pattern. And if you want to, check out bigleaflawns.com and get yourself a checkmate. All right, you can have your lawn looking just like this cutting down that time, all right? So that's what landscapers love. We love cutting down time, producing good quality work, but at a fraction of our time. That allows us to get more yards done, get them done good and efficiently, and make more money. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good day. It is cut day tomorrow, uh, but today we're all we're doing is loading up equipment, getting it ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a, a big day. Got a couple leaf cleanouts to do. Uh, got a couple yards to do before it gets dark. Gets dark about 5.30 now, and I get off at 3.30 from my main job, so gotta bust them out real quick. Um, make sure everything is fast and efficient. And one of those things that will make my job fast and efficient is keeping more blades sharp and or changed and keeping those new ones sharp. Uh, but it's leaf season, like I pretty much, as you can hint, uh, be saying by I got leaf cleanouts to do. It is leaf season. Uh, it's time to get up all the leaves, take them all to the curb, or haul them away for an additional price if you're charging your customers uh, for that. Uh, but today, we are working on the main mower here, uh, the right Velke 48 inch. Uh, I've already done my other mowers. Uh, got the Toro Time Master back there still uh, that I use occasionally for fences. Uh, the small backyards or backyards any type of backyard that i can't get uh any of the bigger commercial mowers in the back of we use that got the snow blower back there that'll be coming out here shortly winter is coming uh but talking about the right velke uh, 48 inch today hydro we are changing blades guys we are going with the mulching blades now it is leaf season uh i just still have my high lift blades on there right now they were still fairly new so i'm gonna just take these off and set them aside for next spring and summer so i'll probably use them again for my maybe first couple weeks of uh the 2022 season and then change those out to newer ones but again adding the or switching out to the new mulching blades now, since I've done this a ton of times, uh, but I'm gonna speak this as if a newbie was doing it, a person that has never ever changed mower blades before, or has not done it in these two different types of ways. So the first way in which I do it kind of off truck uh, while I'm here at the garage and have time to do it, I grab uh, my jack. Uh, I have my three ton jacks right here. I have my low profile jack and my high profile jack or there's the regular size jack you don't have to have both uh, I just have both because I have a Corvette and I have to get a low profile jack to jack up the Corvette sometimes but you're just fine using your original size uh, common jack pump jack if you want to get a low profile one you can um, it may it makes it a little bit easier but you still have to get on the mower turn the mower on and kind of do a little small wheelie up onto the jack no matter which one it is the next thing you'll need is tools got my sockets right there um, i use my milwaukee impact i also have an electric ratchet and your standard ratchet you can use whatever one you want to if you're using the smaller electric ratchet you will probably have to use your manual ratchet as well to break it your bolts loose and then use this the rest of the way 
uh, and then go back to your manual to tighten it back up fully. Uh, I usually use this, uh, just makes my job a lot faster. Now your next step, if you're a newbie and you don't have jacks yet, something that you can do is if you're running commercial mowers and either trailering or using your pickup truck like I do, ramps. Ramps will be your best friend when you're changing blades. All you have to do is kind of roll your mower up onto your ramps slightly or just a little bit, maybe about three, four feet uh, or just until your blades are showing. Uh, to where you can get underneath the tailgate of your bed and change your blades like that. Just make sure your parking brake is on and make sure you got cones around you because you don't want anybody running up on you and you're underneath uh, a tailgate of your truck and underneath a mower with sharp blades underneath there as well. Uh, and turn your mower off <laughs> and then put your parking brake on. Um, just, yeah, in today's world, I have to say that. It's, uh, it is what it is. Make sure your mower is turned off and the parking brake is on before you get underneath your tailgate and the mower. Uh, same thing with what we're about to do right now. I'm gonna turn the mower on, do a small little wheelie up onto my jack uh, so that the deck is resting on this black pad right here. So I'm gonna have this black pad just about two inches underneath the deck right here to where the deck is floats up a little bit. And then we will jack the whole mower up. Uh, it'll be about, two and a half feet off the ground uh, at a slant and then we'll go ahead and get up underneath there if you really really want to I sometimes do this I sometimes don't I've done it enough but I have jack stands as well um, that I put underneath uh, the mower deck uh, just so that if somehow some way the wheels start rolling on this thing uh, and the mower comes down uh, I am protected and being safe I also put little wheel chucks behind the wheels uh, most of the time just so that I don't have to worry about the wheels rolling at any point in time. But it's life, stuff happens, and you don't want to lose your life over changing blades on a mower. So just be safe, guys. So those are the two steps uh, for changing your blades on your mower. So let's go ahead and get on to the mower blade change now. So the first step is the jacks. If you don't have jacks, use your ramps. Uh, if you're just doing it with a small residential mower or a Tor Time Master 30-inch, um, it's really easy to do. All you got to do is flip those either on its side or on the Toro Time Masters. It tells you in the manual to flip it uh, just straight back. So it's resting flat on the handlebars and it's kind of at a 90 degree angle. And that's how we get our mower up in the air so that you're able to get underneath it and change your blades or clean your deck. So that's another key point for you newbies out there. This is a perfect time for you to take your blades off and clean up underneath your deck. So all that old grass that may have stuck to the deck, you can get all that out so that all your suction can remain good. And just another easy process for what you can do as preventative maintenance. All right, now that you have the mower jacked up, the next thing you want to do is take your cell phone out. All right, you want to, may be wondering why. Taking your cell phone out, all that will do is you want to take pictures of how your blades are currently on your mower. So, try to get you guys some light here. All you want to do is look at your blades and see which way they are on. Which way the cutting side is on, which is this side here, and which side the back of the blade is on, this side here. Where this lip is, this, these are high lift blades. So that's the lip where that creates the suction and the lift when you lift the grass up and cut it. And then my Big Leak Lawn Striper, that's all the way back there pretty much on the ground back there. 
uh, lays it back down to create the light and dark stripes depending on how you're looking at the grass and where you're standing uh, but as I said before this is a good time to clean out the deck a little bit um, I got some wet grass to cut here tomorrow so I'm gonna clean my deck out tomorrow after I get done with all my work uh, but again back to the blades all you're doing is looking at which side the cutting side is on uh, so we've got a cutting side on this set this side here and a cutting side on that side there uh, but more importantly you're looking at which way the blade is on so if you flip the blade over that would be wrong because the lip right here this lip right here would be facing down you don't want that to face down for high lift blades it's basically in the name high lift so that means up so you want your lip facing up and that's the same thing with our new mulching blades here we want that lip of those cutting razor edges right there we want those facing up so that pretty much tells you how your blade should go so if you're looking at a blade like this this is a mulching blade you want those razor blades pointing upwards you don't want to put the blade on like this where the blades are facing down this is wrong the blades do not go on like this that is not good cutting turn them over this is the correct way you see the edge of the blade there the cutting part of the blade it's sloping down to the left right here that is good cutting right there razors pointing up same thing with our lip down here pointing up and that's exactly how we're going to change our blades here and if you guys already knew that that was just for the newbies all right so just skip ahead now the next thing all right make sure you got your safety done lock up your wheels if you're using your jack uh, make sure your parking brake is on on your mower uh, the next thing is get your tools ready all right and one more thing before uh, you do all of that is one more time take another picture to make sure that your blades are going on the same way that you took them off all right that's very key put your blades your new blades on the same way your old blades came off make sure they're in the right direction and take a picture before you even start taking your old blades off now one last point before we start here your bolt this is going to go back on the same way just tightening instead of loosening to get the blade off one thing you have to make sure with different types of mowers some mowers have one washer some mowers have two washers some mowers have different types of washers make sure you put those washers back on the same way that they came off that I have one washer beneath and one washer above my blade and now you are ready to take your blades off with confidence and put your new ones on with confidence so all you have to do is take a picture of that and write that maybe down in your phone notes so when my new blade goes back on all I have to do is use my picture reference for my old blades all right, let's take off our first blade here. This is our shoot blade closest to the shoot side. I'm using a 5 16 bit on my Milwaukee fuel. So again, we got our bolt coming off with our blade. We have a washer beneath. This is the one washer beneath. So keep that nearby. And we have our one washer that was above our blade. I'll grab one of our new blades now. And remember, for your newbies, uh, for you guys that already know how to do this, don't pay attention. You can skip ahead a little bit. But for you guys that are newbies and the first time uh, blade changers, remember our teeth for our mulching blades go up just like our high lift lip 
on our lift blades, high lift blades, faces up. And that's the same thing with our mulching blade. Our razor blades, teeth face up. They do not face down like this. If they face down, you're putting your blade on wrong and you will go to cut your grass and you will wonder why you're not cutting your grass and it doesn't look good when you're done or you make a pass and it doesn't look right because it's not your blades aren't on right. So this is how they go. Tag side up. Put our washer back on top. Blade like this. Grab your bolt with the washer. Remember we had one washer on the bottom of our blade, our old blade, and one washer on the top. Feed your bolt back through. This is what it should look like. One washer on top, one washer on the bottom. And we're gonna go and hand screw our new blade on. All right, it's about halfway there. So now I can grab my Milwaukee Fuel. And this just makes my job faster. Or you can grab your manual ratchet or your electric ratchet. That's on there. So our blade is now on. And that's how you change your blades. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my next two the same exact way. One washer on the bottom, one washer on top. Make sure my teeth are facing up just like my old high lift blades. The lip is facing up. Change out the same two uh, in the same way. And I'll bring you guys back in. This is what it should look like when you're done. All three blades are changed. One more time, we had one washer on the bottom, one washer on top. Make sure your blades are facing upward correctly so that when you go to cut your grass, it cuts nice and even. Thank you guys for watching, appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.